Um, we're now recruiting only um, Latinos, uh, African Americans, Native Americans. Um, Hi, my name is Sheila. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about my experience volunteering for one of the COVID studies for one of the new vaccines. You probably saw some of the same advertisements and messages that I saw both on TV and all across social media about how the companies that were doing the studies for the COVID vaccines were in need of more volunteers and specifically volunteers who represented communities of color. So a new ad campaign launching today is encouraging minorities to sign up for coronavirus vaccine trials. Three vaccines are now being tested in the U.S., but not enough minorities have been signing up to participate. And as a black woman, I was sort of thinking to myself, well, maybe I should do this, or maybe not. I actually studied microbiology at North Carolina State University as an undergrad, and I worked at the State Laboratory of Public Health for a while and worked in one of the labs. So I've been in a lab study and I've got a decent understanding of microbiology. That doesn't mean I necessarily want to be the first person to stick my arm out and get stuck, especially when I don't know what I'm getting stuck with or what the consequences of that will be. So yeah, I definitely had some hesitation, but I was thinking to myself, I'm healthy. I don't have any chronic conditions. I take pretty good care of myself. I don't smoke, I don't do drugs. I really don't drink a lot of alcohol. I exercise pretty much most days. You know, my life is kind of boring. Yeah, I'm a little bit older. I'm not having any more children. So there were a lot of boxes that probably got checked for me. So. I thought, well, hey, there are plenty of black women who can't do this for a lot of reasons. And so maybe I should just suck this up and just do it. Take one for the team, right? That's sort of what I was thinking. We need more people who are in a position to volunteer to consider volunteering. And so that's what I did. Um, we're now recruiting only um Latinos, uh, African Americans, Native Americans. So a couple of things. Have you had a flu vaccine yet? No. Oh, okay. That's good because there's a 14 day period before being able to get the first vaccine um, if you've had a flu shot. But if you haven't had it yet, we don't have to worry about that right now. So that's good. Have you given blood in the last month? I haven't given blood in years. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, these are just things I find out like three quarters of the way through the process and then go, oh, I should have asked that at the beginning. I, I've learned over the last several weeks. Okay. So you haven't given any blood? You don't have any bleeding disorders or immunocompromised state? Nope. Any medical issues? Nope. In general? Nope. No? Nope. Okay, good. Do you take any medication? Nope. Vitamins? Nope. Supplements? Nope. Nope. Nada. Nothing. Okay. So far, so good. Um, are you working outside the home? Do you have any exposure risks? Um, very low, I would say. Uh -huh. well, uh, what sort of? Li are you living in a single-family home or? A okay. All right. So, um, overall, you don't have much risk. No health risk. No occupational risk. No living situation risk, you're pretty low risk, which is great for you, but it makes you somewhat ineligible for the study at this point. You know how you totally forget that you did something? I totally forgot that I had signed up for the study. I assumed that that little form that I filled out online 
on that website had just gone into la la land you know how things just disappear sometimes but apparently that was not the case because one day out of the blue i got a call so yeah in the end i was not picked to participate in the study and hey you know what i am i'm good to go with that i am certainly fine with that i will be okay with that decision my feelings are not hurt at all i don't have any animosity toward them i wish them the best i hope it comes out really well and that we have a great vaccine in the back of my head i was still thinking okay yeah i'm gonna do this for the good <laughs> of everyone but you know that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be the best thing for me you just never know everyone is an individual so we have to see how these things play out right yeah so apparently i'm still on some sort of list out in la la land part two and we will see how it goes in the meantime i sincerely hope that they find a vaccine that works and that they're able to put it into place. We've had so many people to get sick and be left with some consequences that don't appear to be short term, but appear to be hanging around for a while. And then of course, there are plenty of people who have lost family members and loved ones to this disease. So like many of you, I'm hoping I'm praying that they find a vaccine very soon. And if I get a call to participate in another study, I will answer the phone and go through the questions again and we will see how it turns out. But hit me up in the comments, let me know your thoughts. Have you signed up to volunteer in one of these studies? Do you know someone who has? What are your thoughts on it? Would you, are you, you know, concerned about when they're going to be able to bring this vaccine forward? And hopefully you haven't lost someone to COVID. Wishing you the best, best. Stay well, stay safe, and take care of yourself. Don't forget to like this video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you don't miss a thing. Peace. And now it's time to take the camera down because I'm all done, I'm all done, I'm all done. Yeah. Let's see how this baby looks. <laughs>